you ever see yourself with somebody like me? I mean, there's, here's the thing. Facebook, y'all, it's not like, it's not like, it's not like meet the singles page. It's not supposed to be that. I, I'm sorry. I don't date the Facebook. I don't um do the whole Facebook um booskies and send me your numbers and uh meet me at the so and so's. I can't, y'all. I can't. That's crazy. I'm sure some females do it too. But y'all men, y'all Facebook men. Don't get it twisted. We know y'all be copying and pasting messages in the inbox and stuff like that. I done had to call somebody out on that, too. Copying and sending a message. Sent one to my mama. You sent a message to my mama, the same message you sent me. Stop it. You are out of control. Stop it. Stop it. Y'all got to stop. Facebook is not... Findaboo.com. This is not that. This is not the avenue. Mm -mm. I don't. I don't do social networking dating. Sorry, that's to me that I'm not looking for somebody to meet somebody like that via. I don't know you via your profile picture might not be you. I can't do it. No, not me. All right. Do I like to drink sweet tea or hot chocolate? I like both. And if you want to send me some free samples, I get thirsty. You can do that. I'm doing a shout out for this question, you know, about the book. I haven't read the book. Check the book out, y'all. Here's the link to the book. Um, only problem is, for me, with books, I don't like to read. Yeah, I didn't grow up reading a lot, and I'm not proud of that. I can't. I can read. It's not that I can't read. I just, I don't. It's. I, I got high energy and reading is boring. So because reading is a little boring, I can't, I don't, I'm trying to say it nicely. I don't like it because it makes me sleepy and I don't want to sleep. So I don't like to read because I can't hold my attention that long to get through a book. It bothers me. I get irritated. I don't like to read. Reading is not fun. They say it's fundamental, but it's not fun. Fun, F-U-N. And no, I hate that because little kids, I need y'all to read because I don't want y'all to be like me, how I feel about reading. I encourage reading. I just don't like it. Don't be like me like that, though. Read books. Please read books. So buy this book. I ain't going to even sit there and lie to you and tell you I'm going to read it. Because I ain't going to read it. Even if it's good. I done missed out on some good books. Coldest winter ever. I mean, some female must reads. And I can't even get through the first ten pages. Because I just be like. It was cold. It was winter. Biggest food weakness during the season. I like sugar. I like candy. Oh, candy, candy, candy. Um, I say candy is probably the hardest thing for me to stay away from during season. But it's not that hard, but that is the one thing I want to have that I have to restrain myself from. So, yeah, candy, candy, yummy candy. This is a good one. I like this question. Ever consider running the 800? Actually, I've run the 800 one time in my entire life, and I ran, like, terrible. But I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth. It really wasn't my fault that I ran terrible. I had some bad advice given to me as far as it related to me running 800. They told me to wait to 600 and try to just kick. but And then they told me not to go out and lead, which was really hard because I was in like a slow heat. The whole heat ran like 213. So I had to sit behind people. And for me, running slow hurt. I ended up running like... No lie, like 218, which is ridiculous, but that was many years ago. Um, do I want to run 100? No, I don't want to run 800. I don't want to do that. Will I try it? Maybe. If I, maybe. I don't know. Mm -mm. I'm not interested in the 800. 
at all. That's one more lap than I even care to do. I wish I would like to cut my lap in half and do the 200. I don't know, people, y'all think track is fun? How do I run the 400 and where do I kick and where do I do this stuff like that? You know me as a sprinter, you know that I have a, the, the strongest part of my race or where you start to see the change in my race is at 200 meters or maybe closer to 180 meters from the finish line. So I'm a finisher and that's always been my tactic. So, and it's not something I do on purpose, it's just naturally how I run. Um, coaches have tried to change it. It just, it's just me. I ain't mad at it. That's just what I do. That's just what I do. Competing next year's Olympics. Um, yeah, there is a, a trials process, but yes, ultimately I am going to the Olympic trials next year and um, I will be competing to make another Olympic team. Yes, I am. Those, that's my goal. Those are my um, ambitions. That Yep, that's the next step. So in a few weeks, I'll start the preparation process for that. So right now I'm just chilling. Take my little eight weeks, get my little self together. You get, have some time to let your body recover and chill and just be normal for a minute because then you go a full year again. So eight weeks off in a year is just, I mean, that's all we get. So I'm enjoying myself right now. Ain't no shame in my game. Hey, you're lying if you say you ain't. And like always, I'll be back with the more entertaining segment. Yeah, y'all stay tuned. You know what I'm going to say.